It's Diane Lee from Teach Pre-K. And if you're anything like me, you are getting ready for those first weeks of school. You can hardly believe summer's almost over, but uh, it is. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys my kind of no-fail go-to books for the first week of school. Um, it doesn't matter if it's first day, third day, just whatever. These books are tried and true and they will get the kids attention and they'll help you teach some really important concepts so i'm just going to show you what i've got um so the first week of school i plan and i have a lesson plan i plan activities i plan things to do but deep down and in my head i know especially for my three-year-olds we're just basically gonna get to know each other and explore the classroom and learn how to use classroom materials, uh, how to be a friend, how to move through centers, how to do our transitions, how to like behave on the playground, things like that. And we will just practice and practice and really lay the groundwork for the rest of the year. I know that if I do that, I'm gonna have a good year. If I start out, we're learning those procedures. We're going to have a great, great year. Um, but I also, during that time when we're learning how to use materials and learning how to use the classroom, I like to teach colors and shapes. And I kind of continue those on throughout the first weeks of school because most kids know their colors, so they feel successful and I love it when they feel successful and school's a lot more fun if you feel successful and you feel like you know what's going on. So favorite book, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? Um, most of the kids have this book at home. You bring this book out and they're like, oh, I have that book, I have that book. So you're bringing something familiar into an unfamiliar place and you're making a connection with them that way. And I'll always go, raise a hand, put a hand up in the air. You have this book at home. I love this book. And do you know that even though you might not be able to read words, you can read this book? And I will read this book. But I don't just read this book. I sing this book. And I do not have a good singing voice. Um, I'm going to do a couple of pages, so bear with me. So we start. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. And we go through that book and I pause a little longer each time I change the page so that the kids can start joining in. And I will sing this a few times the first few weeks of school. And I will have it on the shelf. And sometimes they bring it to me and they just want me to sing the book. Or they want to read the book um, and show me how they can read the book all by themselves. And I learned this from my daughter's preschool. The last page when I say, teacher, teacher, what do you see? And I'll say, I see amazing children. And I kind of go like this, looking at me. Or if I really feel like it, I'll say, I see Leon and Etta and Esme and Sean and Elliot. And I'll say all of their names and then they get smiley and happy and they love it. So no matter what, you need this book. Get it at the library, get it at your school library. Uh, Scholastic always has this book, really cheap in paperback. You can find it, um, gosh, I think I have one copy that I found at a secondhand store. So that's always a good one. Um, another one I really like that has to do with colors is Pete the Cat. I love my white shoes. And the great thing about this is there is a video um, if it isn't on YouTube anymore, I think you can find it on harpercollins.com and it's fantastic. You can sing this whole book too. I also have a CD that goes with this that I got from Scholastic a long time ago. And yeah, I still have an ancient CD player I use. But um, 
You know, Pete the cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much that he sang this song. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my, oh no. Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did it turn his shoes? And the kids are looking at the strawberries and they're like, red. Did Pete cry? And I always do this. Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. And then I do that through the book. And they all know, goodness, no. They love that. They participate in that book and they ask for this again and again. So this is another one um, that they might have at home and is really familiar, but they love, love, love this. And they love this to be sung, at least the, the part where Pete is singing about his white shoes, red shoes, blue shoes, brown shoes, and wet shoes. Um, another one is Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. So this is a great counting backward book. And what I love about it for preschoolers is it starts at four, four, three, two, one, easy, right? And also the buttons are circles, the buttons are different colors. So I talk about shapes, colors, and we count. So we, you know, we read this, Pete put on his favorite shirt with four big colorful round groovy buttons. So gosh, let's see, we've got red, green, blue, and that looks like turquoise. He loved his buttons so much that he sang this song. And then I'll sing this song too. And guys, I didn't make this up. I learned this from my CD. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. And then pop, oh no, one of the buttons popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Okay, let's see four buttons and one pops off. Let's see, one, two, three. And so we'll go through the book like that. And we'll count, we'll talk about the round buttons, we'll talk about the colors of the buttons. So we do a lot of reading and singing with all of those books. Um, another book I really, really like is Mouse Shapes. I love all of the mouse books. There's Mouse Paint, Mouse Shapes, and Mouse Count. And they are fantastic. This one I always like the first week of school because it goes through some basic shapes. It introduces these cute little mice that we're going to see in two more books at least. And we talk about shapes. So the little mice are trying to hide from the cat, which is a recurring theme in all of the books. So they all have that except for mouse count. There's a snake but they make this cute house um, and this tree in the sun and we go, oh my gosh, look, there's a square, there's a rectangle, there's a triangle, there's a triangle, those don't look the same. And there's a circle, hmm. And we go through this, this book. So this is a great, uh, a great shape book for just starting out and also for introducing them to some characters that they are gonna see again and some books that they're really gonna like. Um, this last book is a book that I like so much and I use this when I um, teach the kids how to use the, the bingo daubers for painting and marking things and stuff. It's called Lots of Dots and it is bright and colorful and I will use this when we're talking about circles and colors and it's just like some dots are big, some dots are small. So we've got a lot of concepts going on. Some dots float, some dots fall. What are these dots? Are these peaches? Are these oranges? Some dots are for going. What does green mean? It means go. And dots are for licking. What kind of dots are for licking? And for snacking, stuff like that. It's just really, really cute. And then we usually uh, make pictures out of, uh, with the, ooh, that hurt my head, the bingo daubers after we read this. So those are just five books that I really, really like. Um, I also like 10 Black Dots. So if you can't find 
lots of dots 10 black dots is a fantastic book kind of the same thing it's a good counting book and you can bring it into your art center and you can make pictures using black dots so those are some of my favorite books um, if you have some favorites put them down here in the comments and let me know um, there are so many more books you guys that talk about the first week of school uh, llama llama mrs mama the kissing hand those are great too um, gives the kids something to relate about especially if they have a little separation anxiety or if they're a little nervous about being in the same place but I like to bring in some singing and some books that may or may not be familiar to kind of contrast that beginning of school anxiety theme if that makes any sense um, just bringing something fun and light and familiar into the classroom can help bring the anxiety level down for them and you can have a lot of fun with it too but uh, thanks so much for listening i'll have more tips and ideas for the first weeks of school coming up